G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up this particular Dell. And this particular Dell is a Dell Inspiron P93G. Hopefully you can see that up here. And what I'm wanting to do, to do with this is to open it up to find out what I can upgrade and hopefully I can upgrade the RAM in here. I have existing RAM floating around so I'm hoping to use that. Should be able to get in there after a standard Phillips head screwdriver like what I've got here. And we'll find out what length the screws are as we proceed into the machine. As I'm not too sure what length they are just yet. This one's a fairly standard 14 inch laptop. This one's got a... This particular one's got an i7-1051U, which is a low power usage i7. It currently has 8GB of RAM, 512 gig SSD, or at least that's what I'm remembering it has. It has also an NVIDIA MX232 gig model, so a fairly low end graphics card, but it's there for low power usage and a bit of graphics acceleration over the Intel graphics that is already in there. That particular screw, these back ones, I don't think will come out. I'll do this one too. I know, he wants to leave. That one is different to the others. And I'm going to assume same with this one here. I know, he's coming out. This one over here is just being stubborn. A few more turns, hopefully will come out. There we go. Put that there. Now I'm hoping just make it a bit of a seam. There we go. It's actually fairly willingly leaving. There we go. And what do we see in here? As soon as I've gotten in here, I can see a few things. Mostly positive. First of all, we have a battery down here, which if you're pretend, if you're not sure that the machine's off, it's always recommended to disconnect the battery. I'm going to leave that for the time being. One thing I do like is we have a removable power jack here, so if you do accidentally damage the jack, that can be replaced. Over here we have a, what's it, a brand I can't even pronounce? Coaxia, 512 gig NVMe. It does look like it also supports a full size NVMe if you do change that over. Going over here, I was gonna say it looks like we have a 2.5 inch enclosure, which we do, but my included hard drive adapter, pins are bent. That would typically plug into here and there'd be a plug there to plug into the hard drive to expand your storage. Sadly, I won't be able to do that on this one. We also have the Wi-Fi card here, which if we spin it around and around, around and around, we are a Intel 9560NGW. So that could be replaced with something like a Wi-Fi 6 card of an Intel variety or whatever brand that you prefer. Now the main reason I'm in here is to replace some RAM. Just feeling this. There's something behind this one. There's nothing behind DIM number two. So this is running in single channel mode with a single stick of RAM. What I should be able to do is pull these tabs here out towards it, like that, out away, and the RAM's popped up. And looking in here, we have a single stick of eight gig PC4 2666. So this is 2666 megahertz RAM. I'm gonna have a look in my collection. Hopefully I have something very similar to that. Being an older Intel chip, it really doesn't utilize much more speed than that. There we go, I have a 16 gig stick, which I don't really wanna use in this particular machine. I have a Kingston one at four gig, and I have a Samsung one at 2666. Usually I'm all right with mixing and matching RAM. Looking at it, it's got SA1 on here, SA2 on here, and 11. So I'm more than comfortable mixing and matching these two particular sticks of RAM as they're extremely close to one another. Also, we'll get the advantage of running in dual channel mode. Dual channel usually boosts the PC performance over in running in single channel mode. So two sticks of eight running at 16 gig is gonna outperform a single stick of 16 gig. There we go, we're about installing them. There is a little notch down the bottom we have to line up and then we can just push it in. If I go to dim slot one, I'll explain further. This folds up, there's a notch on the RAM just here, there's a notch down here. 
We've got to match them up and then put them on about a 45 degree angle and then push down and that should lock it into position. So if I go over here and just loosely push it in on about a 45, 35 degree angle, once it's sitting in there nice and snug and the copper pins have disappeared, we should just be able to push down and that should lock it into position like so. With that locked into position, you don't have to do anything further to make it utilize that RAM. Windows, the BIOS will detect it, and then Windows will utilize it. Now that's about covers everything I need to do in this one. We've covered SSD, I've talked about the 2.5, I've mentioned the battery, I've mentioned the RAM, mentioned the Wi-Fi, mentioned the power jack. Fan is also replaceable if need be. Thermal paste is replaceable if you want to go down that path. Granted, it's a fairly low usage. While I'm here, I'm going to give it a quick dust blowout. But then after that, you guys will be doing this. We'll be putting the back cover on. And what I like to do is just pinch it so it clicks into position. Work your way around it. It should keep going click, click, crunch. And from there, we need to put our screws in. Just remember the three larger screws go up here. And once you've got those back into position, you should be right to turn on your machine and proceed. Anyway, hope this helps. With the, uh, the Dell 5482, also known as the P93G. See ya.